Chesterton Cartridge Seal Installation. This video will illustrate the proper procedure for installing a cartridge seal using the Chesterton 180 single cartridge seal and a typical centrifugal pump for demonstration purposes. This installation procedure also applies to the installation of any Chesterton cartridge seal into most pump makes and models. This demonstration is intended to be general in nature. The detailed installation instructions provided with each Chesterton seal should be referenced during actual installations. All Chesterton cartridge seals are preset assemblies and do not require separate installation dimension measurements or centering of the stationary unit. Before installing a cartridge seal, you should confirm that both the pump shaft and sleeve are in good condition. The shaft finish should be no rougher than 32 micro inches AA. The shaft surface should feel smooth if you run your fingernail along it in the axial direction. If the surface is not in acceptable condition, polishing will be necessary. Remove all burrs and sharp corners, especially in areas where the O-ring seal has to slide. If necessary, cover threads and keyway slots with thin tape to prevent cutting the shaft O-ring. Make sure that the shaft diameter is within tolerance. The shaft diameter can vary from nominal by plus or minus two thousandths of an inch to be considered within tolerance. Use a dial indicator to measure the shaft runout in the area where the seal is to be installed. The reading should not exceed one thousandth of an inch total indicator runout per inch of shaft diameter. Place the dial indicator on the end of the shaft and alternately push and pull the shaft in the axial direction to measure end play. If the bearings are in good condition, end play should not exceed five thousandths of an inch. The stuffing box face must be smooth enough for a gasket to seal. The finish should not exceed 125 micro inches. Make sure that the stuffing box is clean and clear along its entire length. Determine proper alignment of the stuffing box face. If practical, attach a dial indicator to the shaft and rotate the shaft and indicator slowly while reading the runout of the stuffing box face. Misalignment of the stuffing box face relative to the shaft should not exceed five thousandths of an inch of total indicator reading per inch of shaft diameter. Remove the seal and installation materials from the box, checking that all parts, accessories and documentation are contained within. Check the chemical listing to determine if the O-rings installed in the seal are compatible with the fluid being sealed. If the O-rings require changing, follow the instructions provided with the seal. If the seal will be operating at a stuffing box pressure of more than 300 PSIG 20 bar for shaft sizes 1 inch to 2 and a half inches or at 250 PSIG 16 bar for shaft sizes 2 and 5 eighths inches to 4 and 3 fourths inches or if the shaft is case hardened, replace the 316 stainless steel set screws with the hardened steel set screws supplied with the seal. The dog point set screws go into the small holes in the sleeve. Do not disengage these screws from the sleeve when positioning the seal. The cup point set screws go through the larger holes in the sleeve. Make sure that all screws are engaged in the sleeve, but do not protrude into the ID bore. If environmental control piping is to be connected after installation of the seal, remove the pipe plugs from the ports. Using the silicone grease provided with each cartridge seal, Lubricate both the sleeve O-ring and the shaft. Being careful not to push on the gland, slide the seal onto the shaft 
by pushing on the lock ring or the end of the sleeve. At this point, piping connections on the seal can be oriented to the required location. However, actual connections should not be made until the seal installation process is complete. Reassemble the pump and make the necessary shaft and impeller adjustments. The impeller can be reset at any time as long as the centering clips are in place and the seal set screws are loosened while the shaft is being moved. Now retighten the gland bolts evenly to the torque value listed in the installation instructions. It is important that these bolts be tightened before tightening the screws in the lock ring. Connect the rotary components of the seal to the shaft by firmly tightening all set screws in the lock ring of the seal. All dog point set screws must be tightened before tightening the cup point set screws. If rotation of the lock ring is required for tightening of the set screws, loosen or remove one centering clip. Once the dog point set screws are tightened, evenly tighten the cup point set screws to the shaft with the hex key provided. Remove the centering clips. The clips should be saved to reset the seal each time the set screws or gland nuts are loosened for impeller adjustments or for other reasons. After all set screws have been tightened by hand, retighten all set screws to the torque value listed in the installation instructions. If the seal comes with a ripcord, pull it away from the seal. This centers the stationary and sets spring compression. It is important that the gland be properly centered on the shaft before attempting to operate the pump. To verify proper centering, turn the shaft by hand in the direction of the rotation to make sure that the seal turns freely. If you hear metal-to-metal -metal contact within the seal, it is improperly centered. In this instance, reinstall the centering clips finger tight. Loosen the gland bolts. Fully tighten the clips. Loosen the set screws. Retighten the gland bolts. Retighten the set screws. Remove the clips and verify proper centering. When repositioning or removing the seal, make sure the centering clips and socket head cap screws are engaged. Once the seal is properly centered and tightened, the seal installation is complete. You are now ready to connect to environmental control piping. Be sure to verify that the piping is oriented to the required location before connecting. Lastly, make sure that the pump and motor are properly aligned. Take all necessary precautions and follow normal safety procedures before starting the equipment. Using this video in conjunction with the detailed installation instructions will help ensure safe and reliable cartridge seal operation in your facility.